down in Louisiana's bayous, another alligator season is about to begin. But this year, there's a crisis that's got everyone on edge. Watch it! Whoa! Watch out! In the dark heart of the swamp, the gator population's been secretly growing, threatening humans as never before. Ah! Now, as the monsters creep ever closer, no, 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 no. the swampers will risk it all. Oh, no, as the war between man and beast begins. Welcome to the swamp. At the dawn of a new hunting season. Okay, team. Ready? Yeah, baby. There's a sense of urgency across the bayou. You ready? I'm born ready. Over the last five years, as gator prices have dropped and fewer tags have been filled, the alligator population has gone unchecked. And now it's out of control. There is horror stories out there of alligators killing people, and lately, with the population explosion, it's worse than ever. People are scared. We're in a crisis right now. So we need to target these alligators. We need to reduce the numbers. The hell are you waiting on? Put your damn boat in the water. Hey, you'll have to pull up a little bit to back me in. With only 30 days to beat back these beasts... You got it, babe. Swampers everywhere are going all out. Hop on, princess. I got it. Come on! It's no longer just about making money. It's about taking out as many of these primordial monsters as possible. As day one gets underway, the king of the swamp, Troy Landry, has a thousand tags, double the count of last year. And to fill them, he's employing an armada with some familiar faces and a swamp legend. Y'all got your tag, huh? For the first time ever, we're gonna split up into three boats. We can catch a lot more alligators in three boats than if we were in one or two. I'm gonna ask for help from non-family members. I'll put Jacob and Dust in a boat. I'm gonna put Chase and Holden in a boat. And me and Terrell will be in a boat. Hopefully we can put a dent in this population. Come on, Mr. Troy Landry. Let's catch some alligators. Troy gave me a little call. We had a conversation that it was gonna be a tough hunt this year. So I volunteered my services. I feel like I got a 13-foot alligator already before we started in the boat. Won't give him a headache, Troy. We're gonna put them big mushrooms to work today, I hope. I got a little power to me. I could help bring alligators over the side of the boat. I consider myself six foot four, 275 of twisted steel and sex appeal. Terrell is a swamp legend who has earned a reputation as one of the best gator hunters in the world. Ah. I'm in charge of that head, and that's where you could get hurt. Today, Troy and Terrell are on an important mission, as a swarm of monsters have been lurking dangerously close to a local community. There's a swimming hole back here that's overrun with alligators. The kids all swim around here, so we're going to go there, catch as many as we can, make the place safe again. That's our strategy. That's what we're going to try to do. Just a matter of time before something bad happens. Not that long ago, there were two little boys swimming. And they see that alligator every time they'd go swimming, but he always kept his distance. Well, one day they went swimming, and they saw the gator across the bayou. 
They didn't worry about it. He had never done them nothing before, so they were swimming, playing, cutting up, having fun in the water. When they realized the gator was about 20 feet away from them and coming in quick. So they started swimming to the bank, and the last, the second little kid, when the gator got to him, he turned around and tried to put his hand and push the gator away. The gator bit him on the arm and started to do the death roll, and he pulled the little boy's arm off, which really is terrible, but it saved his life. This terrifying story is just one example of what's been happening across the bayou. In the age-old war of man versus beast, the gators are striking back. Using their tails, alligators can jump up to five feet in the air. So to catch them, Troy uses a centuries-old Cajun method. Yesterday, he set up a series of 1,000-pound test lines baited with rotten meat and hung them from trees just above the water. Line's down, big buddy. Line's down. What do it look like? Is it a good one? Line's tight. He's wrapped right here. Be careful, big buddy. Troy's hiding from us. He's coming up, Troy. It's a good one, huh? Ah. Get him quick, boy. Hurry, hurry. Woo. Get him, Troy. Ah, yeah. Whoa. Bring him up. <clears throat> He's on this side. Look, 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 look. What? What? Coming over the top. Dude, he's drawn. What a way to start the day. Come on, work ball, work ball. Uh, oh, no, we can't let him go. <laughs> we almost got him. This 10-foot gator has a bite force of 2,100 pounds, strong enough to crush a car. But Troy knows to keep the swamp under control, there's more work to be done. That's good, right there, let him fly. Across the bayou, Troy's asked his friend Dusty Crum to help out this season. They met in the Everglades. That's a hell of a snake. Where Dusty's an expert in hunting invasive species like Florida's huge killer pythons. Though he's new to gator hunting, Troy's confident he'll pick it up fast. Troy called me up. He said, man, I need your help catching these gators. The gator population has just exploded. When I needed some help, he was more than happy to come down and help me out. And so I'm here to return the favor. All right, ready to go? I'll figure it out eventually. Showing Dusty the ropes will be Troy's son, Jacob. Today, they'll help Troy and Terrell police the waters. Dad suggested that we bring in Dusty to help us out, and I'm all for it. The only thing is, he's not a gator guy, he's a snake guy. So I'm just not quite sure how it's gonna work out and if we're gonna get these tags filled. This morning, Jacob got his first taste of Dusty's unconventional style. Where'd you buy them boots at that you got, Dusty? Special order. He's not wearing any shoes. I mean, we have hooks laying around, and the last thing I want him to do is get hurt at the very beginning of the season with the amount of tags we have to fill. You're gonna regret it if you don't have something on. Figured, let him have a day or so with that, and then he'll realize after working with me that how dangerous it is to not have boots on. See the line, D? It, it, it's down. Tight to the bank over there, huh? Man, it's all tangled up. It's all wrapped up, on D. Feels like a monster. All right, Chief, you ready? Man, that's a big sucker. 
Gotta be careful, Ooh. brother. Ooh. You can't wrap that line around your finger. That ripped me open. Might have some electrical tape in my box. I had it wrapped around my hand, and uh, Jacob said that's something you definitely don't want to do because when it went down, I went down too. It, it about yanked me over the side, ripped my hands all up. Damn, that's a monster. Think about that, my brother. <laughs> Welcome to Louisiana. That a way to start the day. Wow. First alligator of the year. My deck hand is hurt, but. You know, that was a life lesson that he learned right away, and after that, hopefully he won't do it again. I'm gonna have every finger taped up by the end of the day. <laughs> Over in Bell River, veteran swamper Ronnie Adams is fighting back. You know, I'm born and raised in Violet, Louisiana, small knit community, very tight. Um, everybody knows everybody. You know, I've been fishing gators my entire life. I started alligator hunting uh, when I, my grandpa was a kid. Come up from this high, five, six years old, the furthest I can go back and remember. I remember going catch gators. This year, Ronnie has taken on three times as many tags in an effort to control the growing gator threat. The alligator population explosion, I mean, in the last couple of years, has just been unreal. We need to get them knocked down and, and try to put a hurting on them because they have really exploded and the gators are everywhere. Ronnie's rookie deckhand is sharpshooter Ashley Jones. The kill spot on a gator's head is the size of a quarter, so her skills will be put to the test. Ronnie and I have been good friends for about a year and a half now. We met each other hog hunting, and he's just been family ever since. I'm married, I have three kids. They're 10, six, and three. Hunting is absolutely a part of everything that we do. Looks can be deceiving. I mean, she's a beautiful, pretty little lady, but I'm gonna tell you what, she's a tough son of a gun, and girl can shoot. I don't call her Dead Eye Jones for nothing. I have a nickname, Dead Eye Jones. My husband actually started calling me that because I hit a deer all the way across the thicket running. I have a brother who's an army sniper, so it's gotta be in our blood. Today, they're hunting a notorious bayou, known to locals as the cemetery. This is the creepy old path to the cemetery. This area we call the cemetery passed down from my family in generations and generations, and it's off the beaten path that not many people know where it's at. You hear some stories that would literally make you poop your pants. Many of the hunters will go in this spot and just go in there and disappear. Don't know what happens to them. Almost like the Bermuda Triangle, you know, go into it, not come out. Ronnie's targeting a hole so remote, it's become a dangerous breeding ground, where gators grow so large, they become a constant threat to humans. Gators have to travel miles, but they're in there, literally come in there to breed. And once they breed and lay their eggs and they hatch, I mean, they spread out to terrorize the rest of the camp areas. Before you go into the cemetery, you always want to give good thanks to the good Lord. Young man there, obviously, might have had an accident. God bless you, my friend. Just hope his soul rests in peace. They got ghosts in that that walk through here at night, Jay. It's haunted. So they don't call it the cemetery for nothing. Does anybody know we're back here? No. No, I don't tell nobody off my this this spot. Nobody. No, I mean for safety reasons, you didn't tell anybody that well, we were. They, don't, they back ain't here. gonna know how to get to. Them. Oh my God. You see this pile? Can you come up on them? Just look like you're walking into the gates of a cemetery with all the tombstones just laying around. You know, check. Dang it, move 
a little bit, baby. Ugh. I don't think we're gonna fit, honey. Oh, darn it, man. There we go, baby. She's coming. Keep shaking, baby. She's coming. About to break free. Hey. Welcome to the cemetery. Oh, baby. Let's see what we got with him here, Jay. Friendly grass and some stuff. Oh, look at that dead gator. Oh, man. Damn. Freaking gator for the season. Dead eye Jones. We got us a monster, baby. Oh my god, look at all the leeches on him. Jeez. Cemetery girl. When you come to die and the leeches take your body over. Nasty little things. Don't get no better than that, Che. You're gonna have to tell me what Che means if you're gonna keep calling me that. Che is just like something we call each other back from home. Is it good? You know, like you say, hey, bro, just like, hey, sister. That's hey, girl, hey. Yeah, it's just a way of talking. Off to the next one, Jay. Back in Pierre Park, Troy and Terrell have already captured five monsters in their mission to patrol a local swimming hole. We got alligators showing up in places they've never been before. I'm one of a bunch of nuisance hunters the state has, and the problems have exploded lately. Calls went from two or three a week, now I get a dozen a day almost. What we got, you? We got you? Draw the lines down. We got one? It's tight. We'll see. Oh, look right here. A big one just came up right here. About a 10-footer. Against the bank. I could have shot him. He was so close to the board, I could have shot him. I haven't, I haven't felt the alligator, but that don't mean nothing. Coming up, Troy. Coming up, Troy. Coming up. Coming up? Coming up. Oh, oh. look at this. Is he drowned? He's limp. Oh, yeah. Look at here. He's drowned, huh? Yeah. That's what that other gator was doing. He was about to eat this one. He's one about the same size as this. Yeah. Most probably his rivalry. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Uh, let's back him up a little bit. Look how long he is and skinny, that alligator. Yeah. They're suffering right here. Yeah. That's why they're so close to these camps. The population is so out of balance, they don't have enough food for them. That other one was fixing to eat on this one. There ain't no government handout out here for these alligators. Some of them are starving. That kind of alligator there that's starving to death, he's the one that's gonna catch your grandkids when they're swimming in the edge of the lake or the bayou. We're ready to roll. As Troy and Terrell go on the attack. Across the bayou, with a boat full of gators, Jacob's doing his part to protect the area. You know, the gator population exploding is a big threat to us because these alligators 
have to feed. Sooner or later, they're gonna start moving closer to homes and all that's gonna do is make it more dangerous for the population. See the line, D? Oh yeah. Getting tight there, partner. Oh yeah, we got something on here. Oh, it looks like a good one, ID. <clears throat> here he comes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, this guy's mean. Hold on tight, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, watch him. Come on, big boy, give me that shot. Man, Jake, he's pulling hard. Hit him right there, Jake. Good, Big D. Yeah, buddy. Take him all day long, baby. And all this gator blood and this chicken grease and stuff's got this all slick up here. Yeah, it's dangerous up there. On to the next one, D. See why I wanted you to wear shoes? Dang. I'm just doing my job sitting there, and all of a sudden, a gator got me by the foot. And so luckily, I was able to slip my foot out of those rubber shoes. Now you know why I wanted you to have shoes yeah. on the boat? For sure. <laughs> while Dusty learns another swamp lesson, Seventy-five miles north, in the cemetery, Ronnie and Ashley have ventured deep into a foreboding corner of the swamp, marked by crosses of the fallen. If you're gonna see a ghost, you got a good chance of seeing one in here. Ronnie's trying to take out gators in their breeding zone before they reproduce. The alligator population in the last couple years has just been unreal. I'm telling you what, gators can be a big threat to people, you know. You get big gators and they don't have no uh, preference on what type of meat they eat, and you swimming around the area, you know, there's a good chance he's gonna grab hold to you. It's running extremely hot. That's why that buzzer keeps going off, Jay Lau. You okay? I just don't want to burn my motor up. Yeah. The Salvania sucked the bottom of that motor where that pops out. It's got holes that suck yeah. water in it. Yeah. It filters all the way up through the engine and keeps it cool. Yeah. Well, guess what? It ain't cool right now, Che. Salvania is just like a really invasive plant. It's hard to get through. It can come back through the motor. And we're worried about the boat overheating and not being able to get out. Oh, no. Ain't nobody back here, and ain't been nobody back in these woods for many moons. So if something happens back here, I'll tell you like that, you in trouble. Yeah, this motor is on fire, boy. We're fixing to sleep out here when this motor burns up. I'm not staying out here. It's not happening. Man, this Salvania is something serious. It's got dirt in the hole where it ain't circulating water. I need a wire. I need something little that I can jam in there and get it out. How about one of these, Ron? Let me see the little bitty wrench, the littlest one you got. I need to shove something in that motor. <gasps> hey, you mother humper. Oh, Lord, that water's burning up, boy. Is it coming out yet? Yeah, it's coming out, but it's burning up. All right, good job. With the Salvania, you know, it could be a swamp curse. But boy, in the long run, it could be a silver lining because I got a good feeling this is where the big ones are going to be. I think it's going to be a big one in here. I hope and pray you're right, JJ. As Ronnie and Ashley track down monsters, across the bayou, with seven gators on board, 
Troy and Terrell are making progress clearing the primordial predators that are threatening local communities. You know, kids are going to be kids. They love to swim. They want to be in the water. And years ago, you didn't have a lot of alligators. And people wasn't scared of them because you never heard of incidents with alligators. But now, the risk don't escalate. There's so many alligators now, and people are scared. They're more scared than ever. You see the lion, T? I don't see it yet. I see nothing. I don't see no action. I don't even see the lion. Uh-oh. You see the lion? I don't see it. Yeah. It run down the bank. Damn, everything's tore up, huh? Yeah, it's all tore up. Where that son of a bitch went, man? Whoa, we got one, Troy. I see. He done tore up him. Good alligator. Yeah? Where you going? Don't let him bite you. Alligator, work with him. I have to get up there. Don't let him come towards me. No, I got the brakes on. I'm done, bro! I'm done, bro! We gotta get you! Damn, that bullet didn't do a nut. Uh-uh. I'm done! Put the sweet stuff on it, bro. How we? We racking them and stacking them, baby. All right, big buddy. That's a good alligator to catch. It's a big female. She could have had easily 40 little babies. 30 or 40 at a time is nothing for a big female. So, you know, when you take that one out, you're not just taking that one, you're taking 30 or 40. Year after year after year. in the remote breeding ground known as the cemetery. You gotta putt putt real slow through here, Che. Ronnie and Ashley are trying to remove killing machines in a dangerous bayou known for its ghostly tales. Well, remember the legend I told you the story back in the day? Ronnie was telling me the story on the way in about all the gators hunters that came out here. Something happened and they didn't come back out. And so I can just imagine that every one of their ghosts is out here. And who knows, they may come up and grab you, trying to get you drowned too. They don't want you to come out here and, you know, get all the glory from these big gators back here. I think this line's down, Check. Oh, yeah, something was here. Something beat up on this chucker. Look, he got all the dang grass and the elephant ears all beat up, Che Lau. He look how he pulled that whole tree over. Oh, you better believe it. The tree's shaking, too, right there. Look at it. Look he up. pulled there. that all the way down. Oh, yeah, baby. Stay in the trunk, Che. Here we go. What are you doing now? Come on, baby. This is what we've been looking for. Give me that machete. I got you want it. Want me to hold it? No, I got it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, baby. Woo! Hey, watch it now. Girl! Don't let him in the boat, honey. Give it to me, baby. This is a nice one here, baby. Woo! Oh. Damn, this sucker here. Come on, you gotta drop the hammer on him here. All right. Woo! Ooh, come on, get the rest. God bless. It's not thicking off the safety. Ashley's gonna get off, man. Come on, what's the matter? He's gonna get off. It won't come off safe, Ron. Oh, my God, Jack. You're gonna lose this gator, babe. He's gonna get under the ball, Jack. You got it? Yep. Get up top there. I'm gonna try to work him to the back. Oh, yeah, Jack. You got him? I got him. Bam! Jeez. That a girl? 
had a girl. I feel you, baby. It's just one of them days, girl. Everything is going wrong. The gun, the motor overheating. It's just one thing after another. It's just like a roller coaster ride, and I just want it to end and start off fresh tomorrow. Across the swamp. So what do you think? I mean, we're going to keep stacking gators up. We're about to sink this boat. That's a good problem. After a long first day on the water, Dusty's feeling more confident. You know, we're starting to catch a lot of alligators, and I think Dusty's getting the hang of fighting them and, and understanding the things I'm telling him. But when you start fighting them big, big alligators, it's real dangerous. Tree shaker? Oh, yeah, baby. Line looks tight. Well, that's a good one there. What it look like over that D? Feels good, buddy. Feels good? Real good. Watch, well, be careful, D. Ooh, he's heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a monster. I can't hold him. It's a big one. Come on, D. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch him, son. Look out, boy. The fighter. Watch your foot, D. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So we were going swimming right there, buddy. Ooh. Come on, big D. This ain't no pot down. He's gonna get away. Hurry up. He's wearing out. He's wearing out. Look at that head. He's right there. Watch your hand, D. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, this. Come on, big boy. Give me that shot. Ooh. Watch out, man. Watch out, boy. Son, here he comes. Yeah, baby. Woo. Huh? Son, you see him bite that boat? <laughs> Woo. That's a rush, huh? Now, I can understand why he wanted me to wear shoes. You know, it's dangerous. But after a day in the rubber shoes, I knew that that wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to fly, man. I can't keep my grip. I'm slipping and sliding over this boat. And I might have to upgrade uh, into some sneakers or something. I think I might bring some different shoes tomorrow. Wait till you see what I got. Oh, I can just about imagine. Back in Pierre Park, Troy and Terrell have pulled a boatload of giants out of the swimming hole, but they're not done yet. Put the dent in the population. Uh, good day. These waters are going to be a lot safer when we're done. I expected that there would be a couple of gators by all the complaints I was getting, but I can see why the people was calling and complaining. It's unreal the amount of gators we're catching right here. I'm tight, Troy. See what you got there, big buddy. Put him up slow, big buddy. Bring him up, bring him up. Get out of there. Oh, he's back there. Whoa, oh, ice can. That's dangerous for me! Whoa! I got it. Whoa! He's got some fire, girl. Watch him, buddy. Watch him. Hey. Coming back. Coming back to you. Kill it, Troy. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> Man, we are going to sink this boat, Troy You Landry. think we're going to sink it? Yeah, we're going to sink gonna it. going to go down with a bang or what? We're going to go <laughs> down. We were sinking the boat with alligators, man. They were coming over the side, that boat. We're doing our part, baby.
Meanwhile, as daylight fades in the cemetery, Ronnie and Ashley race to check their lines. Look at this big gate right here, check. What's that, his belly? Yeah, it done blew out. Oh, probably birds pecking on it and blew it out. Look at the maggots. Ooh, yo, Jay. Those were maggots piled on like that? Oh, yeah, oh. baby. I'm looking to get in and out, head on back to the house. That's what we got to do before the sun goes down, because if you stick around here too long, no telling what you're going to see in these swamps, baby. Che, Che, what we got here, baby? This is straight out. Oh, yeah, it's definitely straight out, Che. Oh, he's got to tore all that up. Oh, yeah, baby. He got it tore up. He made a mess. Got to watch him. He's trying to get these stumps down here. Can you feel anything on it? Not yet. Can't feel it, baby. Yeah, baby, I got it. Oh, oh LA, baby. That's a big one there, mama. Oh, my God, I thought he'd knock himself out. He hit that boat so hard, Jay. Man, he's destroying my boat. Cool, he's beating the boat up. Woo-hoo! Come on, baby. Woo-hoo! Fighting my boat and everything else, man. As soon as you get the shot popping, baby, don't let you catch that gun. He's going to jerk it right out your hand. Woo! 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 This eight foot, 200 pound gator caps off a strong first day for Ronnie and Ashley as they tag 12 monsters in the notorious cemetery. All right, click. You can't get an average guy out here to do this, much less an average girl. I'm not an average girl. You're my girl, my ace in the hole. I'm so glad we out of here. I hate this area. Over in Pierre Park, a day of hard work has come to an end. What a day, Big D! Troy and Terrell have put a hurting on the gators terrorizing the local swimming area. Well, hang them hooks up here, T, so you don't step on them. I appreciate it, bro. I'm going to hang them hooks. What y'all say, boys? What's going on over here? What y'all doing? Y'all ain't been swimming, I hope. Yeah, I was swimming. Huh? Y'all been swimming out there? Man, y'all brave, eh? Going swimming out there with all them big alligators? Look at the big ugly teeth that thing got. Huh? And look, you see all the fur? And look at the fur in his mouth. See that? That means he either just ate somebody's dog, somebody's cat, or maybe a raccoon or a neutral. Man, them little kids, most probably with eight, nine years old, they were swimming in the lake right there by the boat ramp. Just, uh, you know, once something happens, you can't take it back. Okay, listen, listen to Mr. Troy. Y'all be careful when y'all swimming out there, okay? Keep y'all eyes out looking because especially lately, they got more alligators than ever, and you're starting to hear where they're attacking people more than ever, so y'all gotta be careful, okay? Sure. All right, y'all be careful out there if y'all go back swimming. With the gator population exploding like it's doing, I'm scared this is the future here. I don't know if people will ever feel safe again in our community, but I'm telling you, we're gonna do our part. This season on Swamp People. Shoot it, Troy! I can see! Ah! 
It's man versus monster. Hey, everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I try to have a tool for each situation that we encounter. You guys got some serious tools in the swamp, yo. This is like the revenge of the Gator. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey. Ow. Ow. Them Gators are coming after us now. Who? Flying torpedoes. Hey, what the hell are y'all doing over there? I heard something pop in my arm. Oh, Lord. I can't see the drive the boat. What's it? Oh, ooh.